Hello everyone, my name is I am. In today's video, I'm going to teach you the practice of conjunction. You already learned conjunction. Can you tell me how many types of conjunction there are in English? You remember that? Well, actually, there are only three, but because of conjunctive adverb, use a, a conjunction in a sentence. That's why conjunctive adverb is considered as a conjunction. So, totally, there are four types of conjunctions in English. One is coordinating conjunction, number two is correlative conjunction, number three is subordinating conjunction, and conjunctive ad adverb. You already know that when talking about coordinating conjunction, we think of fanboy. But when we talk about correlative conjunction, we always think of pair conjunction like both blah blah and neither blah blah nor etc and sub, uh, subordinating conjunction can be used to connect two complete idea mostly we think of dc and i i c dependent clause and independent clause conjunctive adverbs are used in compound sentence how about in practice you want to know that if so Please look at the board with me. Practice conjunctions. The instruction is underline the conjunction in each sentence and identify it as coordinating, correlative, subordinating, or conjunctive ad adverb. When you see the word conjunctive adverb, it reminds you of hot shortcut that you can remember 10 conjunctive adverbs. Number one, I could not decide whether your answer was right or, or wrong. Which is conjunction or conjunctive adverb? Okay, wait, whether, whether or, it is conjunct, conjunction, what type of conjunction is it? When you have whether or like this, it is called correlate, correlative. Mm -hmm. Peer conjunction, you remember that. Number two, the physics instructor explained the theory, but I did not understand it. Two sentences joined by but. You know, but when you see the word but, you remember fanboy. So, fanboy, what is it? It is. Yeah, it is. Coordinating conjunction. Or the denating conjunction. Friend boy, B for bad, okay? Please avoid my previous video about conjunction. You will see clearly. And uh, don't forget to read my description as well. Number three, now that the harvest is behind them, the farmer can relax. Now that, the, okay, so. Two sentences joined by conjunction. Which one is conjunction? So now, now that, now that, is conjunct, is conjunction. So what is it? It is not coordinating, not correlative, but subordinating. The netting. Okay. If no uh, coordinating, no correlative. No conjunctive adverbs. Of course, it is subordinating. Number four, the earth damaged the wall structures. Moreover, it broke some water pipes. Two IC joined by conjunctive ad adverb. Conjunctive adverb are often used as transition. Okay, so moreover is conjunctive ad adverb. Mm -hmm. Number five, he show an interest in other people only in as much as they can be useful to him. Okay, so which one? In as much, much as. So in as much as, not correlative, not coordinating, also not conjunctive adverb. So what is it? Subordinate, subordinating. 
subordinating conjunctions. The last number. I burn my tongue for the soup was still too hot to eat. To IC to IC linked by conjunction and before it is comma. So what is it? It is for from the fan fan boy. So it is called coordinating. Coordinating. This is the practice of conjunction that we know that there are four types of conjunction where a conjunctive adverb is considered a conjunction as well. Again, our instruction in the first thing you have to underline each conjunction or conjunctive adverb and then you can write what is it that can be correlative, con coordinating, subordinating or conjunctive ad adverb. Example number one, I could not decide whether your answer was right or wrong. So whether or is called correlated conjunction, it is called pair conjunction as well. Whether or not, or not neither nor, either or, both and, not only but also. Number two, the physics instructor explained the theory, but I did not understand it. So two ICs are joined by but but is fan fan boy and before but is comma like this it is coordinate coordinating now that the harvest is behind them the farmer can relax so two complete idea but one can become subordinate like this so now that is subordinating conjunctions number four the earth damage the wall structures for so stop moreover it broke some wall pies so moreover connect two I see like this, and it teach you a uh, transition. It is conjunctive ad adverb. Number five, he show an interest in other people only, in as much as they can be useful to him. So, in as much as here, not coordinating, not correlative, not conjunctive adverb. That's why it only subordinating conjunction. And the last one, I burn my tongue for the soup was still too hot to eat so for if from fan fan boy fan boy as you know that it is coordinating conjunct so the easier way to remember this one for coordinating conjunction you only remember fan boy like f for for f for n n for no b for but o for or y for yet and f for for so then seven coordinating conjunction or call fan boy and correlative conjunction we have both and neither nor either or not only but also whether or or whether or not so only five five uh, correlative conjunction and talking about conjunction the rest are subordinating conjunction but we do not think of conjunctive adverb but uh, when we talk about conjunctive adverb uh, you remember an acronym Hot shot cat. Okay. When hot shot cat like that, you remember 10 conjunctive ad adverbs and subordinating and the rest uh, subordinating conjunction and conjunctive adverb and subordinating conjunction completely different. Subordinating conjunction we use in two one DC and the other I, IC. But uh, conjunctive adverb we use in two way one full stop and comma and the other is semicolon and com comma. But uh, subordinating conjunction, no. We use as a, uh, one IC and the other is uh, DC. Okay. Does it make sense, everyone? After my explanations, if you have any questions about conjunctions, all four types of conjunctions, please write your question. I'll try my best to reply to all of yours. Well, they come to the end of my teachings. Thank you very much for watching my video, but don't forget to watch it every day. A new video come out per day. When you meet one, you find it difficult to understand a lot of grammatical items because everything is in order. You spend around 7 to 15 minutes watching my video per day. You can understand a lot from my lessons. Okay, thank you very much. See you later. Bye-bye.